Hey there guys, we're back with the Barbarossa campaign and we're going to be doing the Lombard League. Now this one is quite difficult if you don't know what you're doing. Once again, this is kind of a scenario you can kind of uh, just wait out if you make sure to build walls. There's a specific place on the map that's quite easy to get to. Uh, you just need to know in advance where it is and then you can wall off the shallows there. And that will probably help you out a lot because... Uh, the AI does not know how to attack walls uh, and castles behind it. There might be some trebuchets, but uh, yeah, but you you are at a disadvantage on this one because you are facing like four enemies or three enemies. I can't remember, and they can all go to the Imperial Age, I believe. So yeah, it's not the best odds for you. All right, let's go into this. Uh, I'm going. I'm almost finishing the Age of Kings, by the way. This is the. Uh, third last scenario I mean I gotta do five and six of this but uh, yeah as long as Barbarossa's knights were present peace endured but the Emperor could not be everywhere at once whenever he went to Italy Germany would flare up and when Barbarossa returned to Germany the Italians began plotting again Milan had fallen, but the remainder of the Italian cities joined together in a confederation known as the Lombard League for the purpose of defeating Barbarossa. If Barbarossa intended to make Italy part of the Holy Roman Empire, he would have to conquer the Lombard League city by city. But Barbarossa still had a secret weapon. Henry the Lion and his seasoned troops. Alright, fairly simple. You're not in a good situation at the start here. Oh, actually, you can actually see the area we're going to on the map. Uh, yeah, I actually th don't, I thought they didn't give you uh, that, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much where we're going up to that other side of the map. But uh, our objective is to construct a wonder within the walls of Venice, Padua, or Verona, which are all cities. Uh, they're not very big cities, but uh, they are cities around this side of the map, I think. Padua's in the very north, Venice is kind of near in the center, obviously they've got a bunch of rivers running through, and Verona is on the northwest corner, or at least I think so. Uh, even the hints tell you that you should really be defensive in this scenario. So here's the first thing I'm going to do. Alright, so you're going to probably lose at least a few troops. Alright, so you're obviously going to lose this place. You've got way too much stuff firing at you here from Padua. Uh, but you can come back here because there are resources. This is an area you could kind of wall off, I think. Uh, you could go back here and then uh, set up your town now here. we will be forced to rebuild our forces before we can conquer Italy. So, apparently we're going to conquer Italy, even though we just got beaten pretty bad. There's Henry the Lion over there. He's in that corner. Now there is a castle. I can't exactly remember where it is. Uh, so I'm going to have to uh, kind of judge this, which isn't great. Because there is a castle that uh, I believe it's Venice own. Because they have like kind of an island over here. Uh, so I do not want to get hit by that. But uh, meanwhile, your, your first base is pretty much going to get taken out. Oh dear. All right, so that is the uh, that is the place I was thinking of. Now you also don't want to go too far to the west here either, because Venice actually their city is there. All right, that should be fine now. But uh, yeah, this place is just going to get taken apart. I don't think Padua will actually send these troops at you, thankfully, when they when they're finished with that. Looks like uh, someone uh, decided to come over there. All right. Alright, so we're going to get um, these villagers up here, and immediately we're going to get attacked by this wolf, which I'm not happy about. Alright, so these villagers are going to come up and start mining stone uh, immediately, um, because I, I need to get all my villagers out. I think I have like six at least, so we're going to get everyone off the boats. We also have onagers, I think. Strange, but uh, yeah. So, yeah, I think that's... Oh, there is an archer. Oh, man, we have a lot of villagers, damn. 
All right. Uh, yeah, we got uh, we got trouble here, and uh, yeah, I need to get some of these guys out here. All right. So let's go back to uh, mining this. All right. So all these villagers can go start mining here as I set up all this shit. All right. That's a lot of transport ships. I don't need. And there we go for that. All right. So I definitely want. You over here building a dock. There is sheep around the area and such, but there's probably not going to be too much that you can get uh, there. All right, so you're way below the population limit when you start. Uh, I actually have quite a bit, honestly. Uh, <laughs> 52, damn. That is a lot under the population limit. So I'm pretty much saving as many of these guys as I can, and then I'm going to. Uh, Basically, I just leave these ships out here and go fishing. Alright, so these guys are going to start uh, walling off these shallows here. Uh, I was going to get you to build a town center here. And that hand cannon here is just kind of skulking about for some reason. I don't really know why, but uh, that's how it goes, I guess. Alright, so those fishing ships will deal with stuff for a while. And... Uh, Alright, so I guess I'll go with the gate here. We're going to send a couple uh, light cavalry. They're going to kind of just walk around the area, I guess. Alright, so onagers, uh, they're going to sit up here. And pretty much my other units shouldn't really be doing anything else. So you might get attacked by some... It's probably unlikely that you're going to get attacked by trebuchets right at the start here. But uh, oh, there's a Teutonic Knight killing my Scout Cavalry, which I don't appreciate very much. So make sure that you do get the Town Center down, because obviously that costs stone as well. Uh, I probably could have uh, put these walls a bit better, but uh, yeah, this is actually the only way that they're going to be able to attack you. So uh, yeah, go crazy with this. I'm going to go with that. And yeah, stay on the stone because uh, you pretty much want to, really you do want um, immediately to get, I'm going to get some lumber, even though I really, really don't need to uh, right now, but uh, I'm going to get this guy to build some houses. Alright, so yeah, you do want two castles up, like almost immediately. Uh, so I'm going to put, uh, oh dear, oh dear. Alright, we're going to get these guys across. I might lose... Oh, I lost that villager. What an asshole. Alright, we're going to get another villager. And we're going to try and get rid of these ships, because they're annoying me. Alright. Whoa, cam it, guys. Cam it. For one second. Alright, I was getting you to build houses here. Yeah. Uh, I'll just make them all along the back here, because it is more efficient. Yeah, I can... Slowly take down that guy. And I think... I guess I just put up the castle now. Um, I'm going to put it here. And you can help. Alright, I need to put my guys on stand ground. These two tonic knights are probably not going to be that useful, but you never know, I guess. Okay. So, yeah, uh, I probably have enough stone now. Since I can make a second castle, but I'll leave it for now. Alright, so apparently we're getting hit by some ships in here, which is a little out cavalry, but uh, there's not really too much I can do about that. So we're going to bring our siege onagers. Oh, I think there's regular onagers down here. And we're going to get as much population at the beginning here as we can. Uh, obviously, we can't really do that much, but uh, yeah. We should be able to win this, but you probably won't have that many ships after this. Which is kind of annoying, but hopefully our castles draw them towards here. Or at least I'm hoping they will. Alright, so three of these guys can go off and build a mill here. Not that I specifically really need the mill, but uh, yeah. And we, we're going to just keep these guys down here. Alright, uh, after that we're going to build a university over here. Yep. Uh, yeah. Alright. So I'm going to get a second castle up right after. Going to put him down there. And obviously I'm... Oh, I actually should be uh, getting 400 more... Uh, 
400 stone for um, for uh, crenellations. That'll be pretty important, actually. I forgot about that completely, honestly. Uh, but yeah, now I can actually get some villagers out. And yes, this one does start kind of slow, but uh, that's I, I guess that's just the uh, how it goes, I guess. Now, there is some gold over here that I'm going to try and grab, because you don't start out with a ton of gold, so um, I'm pretty much just going to put my villagers out on gold first. And I'll just keep these five on that. But uh, yeah, not too bad here. Hoardings I could go for. I'll go for hoardings right now, yeah. As I'm waiting for this to come up. Uh, so I don't think, yeah, you start in the Imperial Age, so you don't really have that much to research from the university, but I got it up anyway. I'll probably get chemistry at some point, so, there. Uh, right. I think my ships died. No, I brought them back here, okay. This knight needs to get over here. And I can get crenellations after this. Right, crenellations it is, and crop rotation as well, nice. And after that I'll probably get some farms and uh, get some more villagers out because uh, I don't have a lot of food right now. But you know, I have been using quite a lot of it. So yeah, so crenellations it is. And I can immediately just, uh, just get everyone out on the farms after this. Uh, Maybe should have waited before I made those farms, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. And, uh, yep. So, a lot of this, the start of the scenario is just uh, kind of defending your area up here. Uh, if you choose to go down here, which you can also do, uh, you, can, you can just chill down here if you want to, but um, I find it easier to defend up here, so that's what I do. Can I hit this guy? No. Okay. Uh, one thing I don't have is a blacksmith. Not yet, anyway. I don't have anyone idle? No. Nope. Alright, so I don't need <laughs> I don't need uh, this many on stone. In fact, I don't really need any on stone anymore. Uh, for pretty much the rest of the scenario. Well, that's not true. I'll leave one on stone just so I can get more uh, castles eventually. But uh, right now, I need other resources, obviously, as we can see. Especially farms and such. Uh, I'll actually get more on berry. those berries, use them up. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll also get my knight squad over here. These Teutonic knights, they're probably not going to be that useful, but uh, we'll keep them around, I guess. Alright, so that's, uh, that's five, so this is going to be six, so I'm going to get more on wood now. But uh, the fish and chips are actually quite useful for you. Because uh, they can get quite a lot of uh, resources. I'm actually going to bring these transport ships away. Uh, yep, they found my outpost. Uh, good for them. But uh, I don't really care too much. We're going to get this gold first because maybe they could hit us from this uh, shoreline here. Alright, so I should be able to get a uh, fair way close. Uh, in case anything comes, and we're going to see. Yeah, it does a lot of damage, these two castles, so, uh, yeah. Especially since you already have ballistics. It's just pretty insane. Alright, so we're going to get, like, three more villagers out on uh, wood, and then we're going to put pretty much the rest on farms. Uh, I cannot get that. Yeah, I'm going to get four out on farms after that. So, yeah, we got these these guys on berries as well. I'll, I'll keep the stone rolling in every so often, but uh, yeah. One thing we'll need, blacksmith. Uh, there's no relics on this map as far as I can tell, and I forgot my uh, scout cavalry got over here. Can I actually, yeah, I can actually go up in uh, Henry the Wine's castle there. Does he heal? I assume he heals. Maybe a little. I don't know. Um, right. Well, I'll need conscription eventually. I'll just get in now, in fact. And, uh, time to get these farmers out. 
Alright, so yeah, you do already start with quite a few upgrades, which is nice for you, obviously, but uh, that is a lot. Um, yeah, I kind of expected that, but you know. So all these guys are going to have farms, and once again, you do have crop rotation, which is very nice, because you don't have to go and uh, redo these farms every so often, which is very annoying. And I hate that sound. Alright, so they are deciding to take out my, um, or, yeah, they are trying to take out my, uh, onagers there. Yeah, I dealt with them. Okay. Uh, up here? Yeah. We do have some sheep over here that are just kind of not really doing much, but, uh, we'll just go with the farms. And yeah, the food is kind of rolling in now, and obviously you don't need to go to the Imperial Age, which is also nice. These onagers are doing pretty well for me, honestly. So you can really attack at any time, but they do kind of set up so that you have this kind of uh, uh, time when you're building up and such. Man, those ships are not getting anything from these guys. So uh, yeah, there is this brief uh, time when nothing's really nothing really too much is going on but uh, eventually you will something will happen uh, right so I'm just gonna get these uh, not the Teutonic Knights just this guy or these guys to go take out that scout if we can uh, I assume he's down here yeah uh, so th those guys are gonna take on that oh it's Henry the Lion Scout my bad I never even noticed that <laughs> all right one way to do it is kind of to kind of bring them in and then, ah, oh, damn it. Okay, the AI is smarter than me. Could build another castle down here. That actually might be a good idea. Like, uh, to deal with these ships? Yeah, might be a good idea. Ah, damn it. You know what, I'm going to go further in, because why not? Uh, right, I was building a blacksmith, then I was going to get... Oh, right, we got guys uh, idle here. Uh, more farm. More farm. There's like no more room here. Uh, okay. Uh, right. Uh, mm, okay. What else do we need? I'm going to get market just because, even though I don't think I'll need it that much. And look at those resources coming in. That's pretty nice. And um, we're going to get some more on gold. Going to obviously get a stable up. Um, I don't think I'll bother with any of the other um, things. Uh, yeah, there's not really too much into it. Well, I can get a hand cannon here. Uh, yeah, there's not really too much. I got Teutonic Knights. Woo. Oh jeez, the screen's glitching or something. I don't even know. Whatever. Alright, chemistry it is for now then. These fishing ships will probably eventually go down, so yeah. And I will make some more. Barbarossa, I do hate to strike you when you're down, but the Lombard League has agreed that I would make a better Emperor. So sorry. <sighs> Once again, Henry the Lion is going to turn on you, and he killed my scout. How could he do that? I thought he, I thought the scout would literally just stay in his building, but it uh, looks like I'm not that lucky. Though it would have been funny. I'm going to get a blast furnace, and... Oh, okay. Um, well, I'm not very happy with that one. So, uh, we're going to go out there. I think that's one of the only trebuchet... Oh, there's two of them. Shit. Alright, well, I'm going to definitely need some uh, repairs going on here. I'm... It's going to be uh, dicey, in fact. Just kill the things. Alright, let's just get these. Get this trebuchet down. And run back in. And we will repair that. Okay, uh, well, I guess that stone's for something, right? We'll get a couple more on this stone. Uh, what else was I building? Right, I was building that, that. I'll get a monastery, though I don't really see myself using it. I don't, well, I mean, maybe a couple monks would be nice, but. Uh, what the hell is getting attacked? Alright. 
so it's just ships down here. I'm definitely thinking I'm gonna try and get some, uh, I don't know if I should put the castle here or something, but, uh, these guys are annoying me, but, uh, maybe I'll be able to take some of them down. Apparently not, because they know exactly what to do, and Venice is being extremely annoying right now. Alright, uh, what else do we need? I don't know, really. Siege Workshop? Maybe. And that's about it. Alright. That ship's going down, at least. How did that not hit? Come on there. I don't know why I'm trying to take on this demo ship specifically, but, uh, you know. Well, my fishing ships are going down, which is kind of a pain in the ass, but, uh, you know. Did they take down my villagers? The oh, she's just walking across. So I'm thinking I should build a castle right here, maybe, and get some more of you. All right, and get that upgrade. Okay. So yeah, you do get hit pretty. Uh, I'm actually surprised at how much they're hitting us from the sea here. Uh, I don't think it, I didn't think it would be this this bad. But, uh, yeah, they are Galleons now, so that is unfortunate. Venice is kind of throwing everything at us. Fucking hell, man. I did not see that at all. Shit. No. Oh my god. Oh my god, what? Oh, there's onagers and shit coming in too. Holy shit. Fuck, shit's going down here. We're gonna get piled in. Oh my god. And they're attacking us down here. No, attack the trebuchet and then get out. I like how we've still got some knights. Like, what the hell happened? Oh, Jesus. This isn't fantastic. Hmm, purchase stone. I'm gonna put a castle right there. Okay, farms are running out too. Which I'm not happy about. Alright, so that that eventually is gonna build a build that castle there and that's gonna be fine. Uh, siege engineers, yes I will get that for later on. You kidding me with an R1? Great, of course. Uh, apparently those knights didn't upgrade, which sucks. And I'm thinking that I'm going to build a wonder in Padua's base because they're being complete assholes about this one. They don't really defend their trebuchets very well, though.